Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's Photoshop CC tutorial video, we're going to do something uh, really interesting that we have done on the channel before, but I felt I could do a much better tutorial for you on the glowing lines effect, and we're going to keep this short and sweet. So let's go ahead and jump right in with a photo that I've already masked out. And yes, this is a stock image. The reason I use those is because most graphic designers and digital artists are going to be working with stock photography. You can do this with a real world photo. I have done masking and things like this on real world photos throughout my Photoshop tutorial series. So you can definitely watch tons of videos where I do it with an actual photograph right out of my camera. But in this case, we're just going to do uh, some simple glowing line effects and we're going to use the pen tool for that. So go ahead and select the pen tool and make sure that path is selected in the menu. And you can uh, use shortcut P if you'd like to be able to select the pen tool. And we're just going to make some basic lines here on a new layer just to keep things uncomplicated. We're going to go ahead and lock our uh, model and our background here. And we're just going to create some interesting lines that are going to be our effect. size we can adjust that to whatever looks good and what feels comfortable for the contour let's go ahead and use a half curve here um, that does something nice and now we're going to adjust the size based on that so that's that looks really interesting and like I said you can change the colors here if you want another thing you can do with this is now that we have that on a single layer here we can uh, select these different uh, neon curves here. We can do something interesting with this and we can use our direct selection tool and we can manipulate them a little bit now that we um, you know, have those in place. And we can kind of make a duplicate here but make it slightly different. We can augment these and this is going to give us the ability to do something really cool here that you're going to see in a moment. And this is the step that a lot of people won't show you in their tutorials. Yeah, there are a lot of tutorials for this on, you know, the web, but not that are going to show you this second part that I'm getting ready to do. So what we can do with this now is we can go ahead and select our brush and we can make an either bigger or a smaller brush. Let's go ahead and make this brush somewhat smaller, maybe about six here. Go ahead and do our selection tool again. Select these with our second layer. Go ahead and stroke the paths. So it's created these smaller paths that we've stroked here. And then in this case, I'm going to hold Alt. And I'm just going to move this effect up to duplicate the effect. Then I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to change the color. And maybe I select uh, something that's similar to the blue inner pants here. I'll click OK on that. Now I'm going to select and I'm going to just delete these paths. And there you go. 
So now I have these, you know, interesting glowing lines. And let's go ahead and zoom in here, get a little closer. But what if I don't want, um, you know, all of these glowing lines to go through, you know, the model and just be overlapping like this? What if I want them to crisscross in front and behind? No problem. I'm going to group our glowing lines. I'm going to create a mask on that group layer. I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to make larger here. And I'm just going to create with a soft brush and just paint that stuff out with masking and paint in what I want. And I'll just get in real close here so that I can mask this effectively. And this is easier if you happen to have a Wacom tablet, by the way. So I'll just go ahead and use a black brush to mask out and to, you know, cut it here. And you can see what that does. I'll paint it back in the areas that I got rid of by accident. And if I do want it to come over like I do here, then I'll just paint that back in. And I'll paint it out here to create that interesting look. So now you can see what's going on with that. You can see that in not every case am I going to have both of them um, overlapping. I can have the purple go behind in this case and have the blue come over, and that just makes this more visually interesting if I do it that way. So now the effect has a lot more, um, you know, just interesting elements to it that are going on and create some context here for our image. So now it's a lot more dynamic, a lot more interesting than just having glowing lines there with no rhyme or you know reason or any extra um, you know interactivity going on. You know, there's some real quote unquote um, depth to the concept now. And by having, you know, two different colors of neon glowing lines and then having some overlap and some not, it just becomes a more interesting image. Now, in the event that um, I specifically want to, without having to worry about it, just mask the blue. I can just go ahead and create its own separate mask and then I can paint over even the purple without worrying about the overlap in cases where I need to do that. So I can use the group or I can use the individual layers for that and it's fine. And that's it. That's how you create neon glowing lines in Photoshop. Quick, simple, very cool, very clean and you just get an interesting image out of that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Photoshop CC tutorial. If you still have questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have some effects that you're interested in seeing me take on here in Photoshop, let me know that in the comment section as well. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.